Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneebles right here and I hope you guys are once again having a fantastic day today. Okay, so welcome back to another episode of course on that MK Don's career mode journey. Um, literally right back after the last episode that we just done, literally just a minute ago, obviously. You won't know that because obviously I don't upload both get uh, both videos in the same day and yeah, you just won't in general know that. So anyways, we just played it obviously. Uh, Disappointing loss to Genk in our last fixture. So now we've got Leeds away in the uh, the Premier League. So hopefully get three points there. And we do have Aston Villa at home in the cup. So we can play our you know, weaker side, of course, in that. And just you know, try and get the win, of course. Um, and then we've got United at home. So they're the three games we'll be playing in this episode. Hopefully going to get the uh, the results that we need and that we want. So, uh, yeah. you know. But going on to the table, uh, just to quickly show you. Of course, Tottenham at the top uh, for now. We are in second uh, for now as well, um, eight games played, five wins. Excuse me, my eyes itch me right now. Uh, but yeah, five wins, two draws, and one defeat. Um, it's not too bad, really, is it? Uh, Twenty-five goals scored compared to everyone else is you know, quite different, obviously there. Uh, but Leeds, who sit ninety, you know, Burnley were there, but they've obviously moved up um, or down, should I say? They are Burnley are down twenty. Burnley nearly actually took a point from us as well. They've only got one point from eight games, so I'd have been very frustrated if they did. But Leeds are kind of saying they haven't won yet uh, at all this season. So this should be an easy rollover victory, really. It should be, really. Um, but we'll see, of course. Um, but yeah, so three points um, they've only got. So, yeah, you know what? Without further ado, we're just going to go over it. It's been a quite of a quick intro there. Then we're going to see what we can do. Um, nothing's happened transfer-wise. Um, I mean, you know what, actually? Again, again, excuse me for that. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm so... So burpy and just like, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so just to quickly show you though, um, so if I go to, where is it? Yeah, transfers. I thought, wait, would it? I don't think I'll have it on here. I don't think it will. Oh, it does, okay. So um, we've done two two bits of business. Um, obviously two players are sold, or should be going in January anyways, which is finally this guy, Simon Falalba, will be joining Raul Sociedad on a permanent for 31.9 million pounds. So very decent money coming into us. Uh, so hopefully put on another player um, in January if we do find some that I definitely just want to buy with that money. Um, yeah, well hopefully we do. You know, simple as that. So, um, but yeah, he's going. So, um, in all in all, we get twenty. I think it's twenty-seven and a half million. Obviously, the the board keeps some of it, whatever. Um, but yeah, thirty-one point nine million pounds made. Anyways, it's still um, something decent. And like I said, it's a shame. He's a good player. He is a good player. He was a good player when he was playing at my club before he left the first time. But I just had to get rid of him because you know, I just thought, you know what? I see him as a free agent. got him as a free agent. I cashed in on him. Um, and that's what I'm doing now, cashing in on him and uh, getting the money from him. So it's kind of like cheating really, but like it's not. Like I've just got him as a free agent. I haven't played him once since I got him. I thought, why not? Just I'm going to get money from him. That's what I've done. Simple as that. So uh, it's all good. Um, and of course, this guy, Bravo. Uh, Javier Bravo, 23-year-old uh, centre mid, uh, valued at seven and a half million. He's gone for 9.1 uh, million pounds to West Ham. Um, a player that you know, I was sort of keeping hold of, but I thought you know what, I'm going to let him go because he's not improving. He's not going to improve. And yeah, there you go. So I mean, looking at his six stats there, doesn't look too bad, really, does it? But he's not improving. He's not giving anything to the club. So I thought I'd get rid of him and get someone else that's you know fresh into into the club. So. Uh, he's going to West Ham for £9.1 million. Pounds. He could have went to Newcastle, but he declined Newcastle and went to West Ham instead. So those are the two things that have happened. They'll both be going in January. So hopefully we'll get the money in for him, um, for them. So you're looking at about, we should have an extra about £35, £36 million pounds on top of what we have now, which is we have about £30 million. So you're looking at about £65 million pounds we'll have to spend. Um, and if we sell anyone else, there's more money there. But yeah, about £65 million. So decent bit of money to spend if we do find anyone you know um, so yeah but if we don't we don't simply we just don't spend it is what it is so um yeah I just wanted to obviously mention about that I forgot to in the last episode to be honest um, but yeah so going straight on to Leeds anyway 19th place coming in at three points and you know what I say this a lot probably but can we get a clean sheet can we get a clean sheet uh, let's see what we can do anyways and hopefully we can get that clean sheet Get in there, Scott Twine. 
Boom. 1-0. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but 1-0. What a goal from Scott Twice. His first goal for a while. And it's a great bending. I was actually surprised. That's why I was just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what a goal. Great finish. Scott Twine, you know, gets her, gets her lined up there and bends it in. Finally get that first goal. It's taken 20 minutes to get it. And there you go. Great start. Come on, Velasco. Eduard Cunha, 2-0 finally. And brilliant from Velasco on that right side there. You know, just patient with him. Got the ball with him. He's not been great, actually, the last couple of games, to be honest. Started off great at the start of the season, like right at the start. Um, but, you know, not been so bad, but, like, yeah. Um, just sort of drift, uh, dropped off a bit. But good little turn in there. Great dribbling. And then, you know, just got to roll it. It's a bit of a weird roll. It's more outside, like, going towards the outside of the box. You know what I mean? I don't want it like that. Um... But, I mean, I want it outside, but not, yeah. I don't know. Don't know how to explain it. But either way, it's gone to Kuna. And there you go. It's a good finish. 2-0. Go on. Hit it first time. Oh! What a finish. Babic puts it in the back of the net. What a volley. Great ball over from Eduard Kuna, who can just set up goals. Just as good as he can score goals. <laughs> and he just takes, gets that bit of space and then just... Dips it right in front of him. Boom, on the volley first time. Brilliant stuff. See the run as well. And there you go. That's a great first time hit from Babic, who hasn't scored much uh, lately either. But, gets a goal there. 3-0. Come on, Eduard Kuna. Yes! It is 4-0. And Kuna gets his second in the game. We're running away from this. And there you go. It is a great header. Good ball as well from Finn Pong. Um, sorry, Velasco. And there you go. It's another assist from him as well. <laughs> the 4 0. Great stuff. Oh. Back off. No. Oh my. No. No. <sighs> Look. I know it's just a goal, but I promise you, I'm trying so hard for a clean sheet. So f fucking hard. This is ri it's it's actually embarrassing now for the game. It's not me. It's not. It's not embarrassing for me. This game's actually ridiculously embarrassing. Like I can't defend any better than that. I'm trying to get the ball. I'm not even past now. I'm pressing these buttons as well, and they're not doing what I want to do. I promise you, they're not. It's just, I'm fed up with explaining it again. I'm fed up with trying to defend myself. But I will do, because I've done nothing wrong. But this game is just absolutely ridiculous now. It's just literally too much now. This literally... I This, this is a clean sheet. Leeds have had nothing. And then that. It's, really, it's bad. Really bad. I put my hand up to that. I put it up a tiny bit. Yes. That's my fault. But I had to drag my centre back, back out because for some reason we just got caught in the brain. Why? I don't know. See, that guy I can accept. But the last one. I think, I'm going to be honest, I still to score from there though. I mean, it's, it's not miles out, but you know, still, come on, keeper. You, you've got time to position yourself. It's not even a hard hit either. Pathetic. But either way, um, yeah, I... That goal more than the last one. Simple as that. Uh, anyways. 4-2. Look, honestly, I'm happy with that. Of course, it's three points, but... I can't stay. I can't I can't handle it anymore. My, I can't get a clean sheet for something that's not even my problem. The second goal, yes, I put my hand up to that. That's fine. But the first goal, not my problem. If the first goal didn't go in, the second probably wouldn't have. And I say that because I was just... I'm just pissed off. I don't care if it's just a goal and we're battering, we're, we're, we're clear ahead with goals, it doesn't matter. It's annoying that these goals go in, if they weren't going in, man, the amount of clean sheets I'll get, it's ridiculous. Like, it might be boring in that sense, you know, just winning games every time, whatever, like, you know, and obviously comfortably, but 
But if I'm playing the game properly and I should be getting clean sheets when I'm doing nothing wrong, you know, it's easy math, isn't it? Like, so, uh, yeah, it's baffling. But 4 2, we'll tell you, of course, it's still big three points. But, uh, you know, obviously a goal like that as well, fantastic, what a hit, just have to say. Um, but yeah, 4 2, definitely deserve it. Okay, on to our next game. We have none other than Aston Villa. Uh, in the fourth round of the uh, League Cup, so you know, I'd like to say this should be a win, and it you know, technically should be, uh, but obviously it'll be a weaker side. So at the same time, I don't expect to win completely, um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do here. So Aston Villa in that fourth round. So we get a victory here, and uh, yeah, progress to the next round. Well, go on, Delgado to the back post. Ah, oh, Sepulveda. One, that's it. Pelestri's there again. Oh, it's in. It is in. It is 1 0. It's a bit of luck there. And when I say a bit of luck, um, it doesn't look like it was meant to go in. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I don't know explain it. It just, the way it sort of bopped in. I don't know. It kind of looked like it took a deflection. I don't know if it did. We'll have a look, have a look back here. Um, yeah, I just have to see that. Oh, I don't think it did. It kind of looks like it did, but. Wait, what about here? I actually still don't think it did. I think Palestra just hit it weirdly. I don't know. One nil anyways, we'll take it. It's a good start anyways in this fixture. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I just said, I don't know if it was in the frame there, but I was just saying just then, I played a ball with Navaretti, and that's why I never played those balls. If I play it that far back, this, 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 uh, this highlight here, then you'll see, but it just in general, like, again, Orlando is in front of the, the ball line, the ball direction is coming towards their player. That to me is a block. That I'm swear down to you, it's a block. That's a block, 100% it is a block. How I've not got it, I don't know. That's where goals can see. I'm sorry, but it is. I mean, wow. No, great goal. Fantastic goal. But again, I've not batted, batted this. This is probably the first time I've met. I've not really batted the button so much. So in that sense, I deserve it. But... I still pressed it quite a few times, still, enough. <sighs> Again, standing off, and my defenders have got to be getting that. It's a great header, nothing wrong with it. Again, the better side. They're 2 1 up. <laughs> it's incredible, this game. Go on, Addy Amy! Brilliant stuff, just before half time, they've literally just gone 2 1 up. We pulled it back to 2 2, and what a run! Great drooler from Adiyemi, that was fantastic, I've got to be honest. Brilliant stuff, you expect that sort of stuff from him. There you go, 2 1. Great stuff here, look at this, in and out, to the left, and turn back that way, back in, boom. 2 2. Ref. Yep, red card, finally. Been quite dirty to be honest, especially this guy, of course. <laughs> there you go, red card, second yellow card, and uh, takes out Adiyemi, I think he's done it. The first time in the me as well. There you go. Red card for Aston Villa. Oh, really? Fucking really. Fucking affecting this game. This game is absolutely embarrassing. It really is. It's hard to really sort of bite your tongue. You, just, you lip, whatever, just to accept that. Like, he's paced past me, right? Harvey Elliott is going to do that, but... It's still bullshit. The pass that I originally done before that, I think it was a pass. Again, I can't remember. I don't know why. But it's just not a goal deserved. It literally isn't. Literally, they've got a sending off as well. Again, it's another team we just can't beat with a sending off. Jesus. Yeah, you know what? We're out. It's, it's simple. You know, that goal, definitely this goal. How? I can't help but explain about it. How? Just, a man sent off, which is not always a massive bonus, but it's, it's a bonus, you know. And a man sent off, they still manage to find space. I, honestly, that's 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 where the game's rigged. <laughs> How's it not? You've still found a lot of space. Bad that is. Right, four three. 
Palestra again with a last minute goal. He's, he's been actually alright lately, Palestra. I've got to be honest. He's played well in this game. But 4-3, I doubt we're going to get fourth goal in, what, four minutes. Very much doubt it. But we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing for FIFA. It really is. Um, you know, EA, FIFA, or whatever, however you want to call it. Also, I know both companies are sort of parting away, obviously. After, I think they're doing one more title in there or something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. It's really bad, it really is. Um, the game is, is terrible, but you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to say out the back. I'm just, just going to be honest and just say it's just a Mickey Mouse cup, isn't it? Yeah, everyone else uses that excuse for, for once. For, for the first time in my life, I'm going to use that excuse as well. It's a Mickey Mouse cup, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> because, yeah, it technically is. Obviously, it's, a, it's not the cup we want to win, but a man down and we played worse. Okay. It's. <laughs> You know, um, but as I did say before the game started, we uh, were going to play over a weaker side as well, weren't we? Because, well, yeah, that's what you're doing in cups like this. But it's still a decent side. It's not like it's youngsters galore all over the pitch. So, yeah, there you go. So, there's not much to say. Four three. It's a lucky win, really, for Villa. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so on to our last game of this video. We do have Manchester. United um, at home as well, another home game. Um, but yeah, you know, last two games, yeah, I mean, all right, we won against Leeds, but just in some sense. And then we lose to Villa. I don't know. That's two defeats within a week now. Uh, it's not good. We need to really pull this back up. You know, we've, we've been all right not losing as many games uh, for the last like, season, uh, at least last year, anyways, on this. Um, but, you know, Man United to start off with, I don't know how that's going to go. but a win against Maynard would be awesome if we can get this, I really will. Um, but yeah, I've got Genga a couple of days later, but uh, definitely a full side, against, uh, out, full side out against Man United, definitely. Um, but yeah, so tough game still to come up, of course. We have to really concentrate on that. So yeah, Manchester United at home. Hopefully three points and hopefully a good, good, good performance. Go on. Oh, Velasco. Have I not scored that? Point blank range. Come on. Come on, Kuna. Come on. Fully, fully deserve this. Jesus, what a game. Honestly, what a game from both sides. End to end stuff. And finally, Edward Kuna has been quite quiet in the game as well. He's had a few passes, a few touches. I think he's had one shot. That might be his second. But Jesus, he's there when you need him. That's one thing for sure. There you go, just roll it there, and all that gets the assist. Honestly, we deserve it though, we do. 1-0. Oh my. You know what, honestly, the way both teams have been, probably is deserved in the point. We've still got time to maybe get a winner, but a late winner, but this hard to bite my, it's hard to not, not to really scream right now, because that's just unfair. Oh. Uh, nothing wrong with the header. Great header. Posting in. But. I, I don't know how to explain it. We, no. Just no. Just simple. No. No. It just. Just. And the only way I can think of it is it's just unfair. You know what I mean? That's just me for you. Oh, really? Re oh, my God. No way. No way! I swear to you, you know what, this match has been the toughest match I've ever played and the best defending I've ever done in my life, I promise you. This is incredible. It's a great pass. Like, they get that through and then... Unfortunate for Espacio. Unfortunate. So unlucky. Saves it, but... Yeah, you know, it's a good pass through to him. It really is. But you know what? We deserve a draw, at least. I'm gutted. I absolutely go with this game, honestly. Absolutely gutted. This game is just... Honestly. Second defeat in a row. And it's just... You know what? Honestly. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how else to explain how this game could be so pathetic. It really is. You know, honestly, as I said, both teams deserve something out of it. At least a point. Definitely. 
I think it should have been a draw. 100 percent a draw. It's not a win for them. Two goals in four minutes. You know, you're probably looking at it thinking defenders not being great. You know, no, honestly, my defender was the best I've ever done. I promise you, promise. But other than that, no, just don't deserve to lose this at all, at all. Absolute gutted for this game. This game is so much potential to make this game better, and I hope they do. I really do. I say it all the time. I know, and I will keep saying it. But this game just is honestly just completely ridiculous now. But deserve, 100% deserve to at least get a point from this. So I am very gutted and yeah, every every right to be quite annoyed with this. Okay, so that is the end of that video there. It's our only our second defeat we've tasted in the league uh, so far in the start of this season. But a very bitter one. Very gutting one. It actually does rip at me so much, even right now. It just, it's just not right. I don't deserve to lose that. I don't, you know, nowhere near deserve to lose it. Um, but yeah, what can I say? This literally, what can I say? It's just, just again, the game just, just don't go right for me. Simple as that. And I think I do. I think it's unfair. I think we deserve that win, 100%. At you, know, well, at least 90% should have been our win, and the other 10% should have made it 100% at least a draw. You know, I, I just shouldn't have been a defeat. Not like that. Not two goals last minute, but you know. Second goal was brilliant. First goal, as far as I remember, it shouldn't have been a goal. I don't know, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I don't know what to say. Uh, but we go down to fifth, and May Knights replace us basically. And go, there you go, second with that win over us. But yeah, just like I said, completely gutting to get a defeat like that. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, we move on to Genk, though, in our next game uh, in the Champions League. Hope to get revenge over them, as we did lose to them last time as well. So that's three defeats. With it, you know, three defeats in four games, it's not good enough. It's just not. Um, United was got to be a tough game, anyways, but we should have won it. Um, like I said, at least a draw. Okay, simple as that. I can swallow a draw, but yeah. Um, but you know, lost in the cup to Villa, we're out of that, and then we also lost to Genk in the last episode. That is uh, in that. So one win, two draw, two defeats in this video. Not great at all. I thought we'd have done better, but no, it's just not. So. Genk, like I said, is next, um, but you know we'll come back for that in the next episode, and hopefully we can do well. That's all I can say to it. So yeah, until next time, guys. Hope you guys, of course, enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, of course, and subscribe. Be much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next episode, where hopefully we can improve on this and just yeah, just get better. Simple as that, because it's not good at the moment. So yeah, like I said, take care, and of course, as always, peace.